Good morning you lovely lot, welcome back to the channel. I'm Dave Keith. this is a Burners Biker Lifestyle. If you're new to the channel, what it's all about is reselling to fund your lifestyle. What I mean by that is taking items from one uh, marketplace, whether it be uh, car boot sales, charity shops, auctions and the like, and selling them online, mostly on eBay, to make a profit. That's my business model and that's how I earn a living. Now I've been really, really ambitious today because I'm going out sourcing. It's the first Saturday in September in the northwest of England. So this is very ambitious. <laughs> so that's why I have planned for today. This video is a little bit later, but as promised, it's the result of what happened as a seller at the last car boot. My holiday weekend was last weekend on the Monday, rather than cut about buying, which I actually did attempt to do in the morning, unsuccessfully I might add. I was also there as a seller. So I uh, set up my camping table and uh, had a, a, a quite a variety of, of stuff to sell. So this is all about how I got on. It's likely to be a lot shorter video than you used to from me, but uh, interesting nonetheless to see the perspective from the opposite side of the table. So hope you enjoy it. If you enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and I will see you in a moment. Do me a favor. Don't tell me I sound like somebody else. This shit fucking pissing me off. Hey. Yeah, so put me in a category. By myself, cause I'm married to the game, holy matrimony. Every morning when I'm waking up, I gotta thank the universe that I ain't going back to sell an abalone. That. Now I'm getting suspicious. So they getting salty like scuba gear. What? However, you wanna interpret it. I bring it back like a souvenir. What the fuck is it you doing here? Cutting you out of my circle like I'm Ducky Goose in here. All in your grill like you just got a new veneer. You make a million, well, I'm making two this year. Too busy making some major maneuvers here. To be fucking with you just to be super clear. I'm feeling like I'm a scrooge in here. Cause I'm surrounded by loot and your head going through my ears. Live in the mansion, just measure the cubic shit. I could fit hella canoes in here. They say if the shoe fits in wet, but I went and bought me a nicer and new. Damn, bro, chill out. Well, that's the selling a car boot mission completed. I must say it's been, uh, well, I was going to say it was an interesting day, but I can't remember the last time I was so mind-numbingly bored. <laughs> Still, it's a successful day. The weather's been absolutely fantastic. A bit of a chilly start to the day and a bit uh, wet as well, but I can't grumble. I've been uh, working on my tan today while I've been earning a bit of money. So I'm going to uh, head home now with a considerably more empty car than I uh, set out with this morning. Uh, do some figures and see how it went. So let's get on home. Oh, first brew of the day. 
it was a massive fail not taking a flask with me to that car boot sale. So back home now, obviously, the, those were two very, very different car boots for a lot of reasons. I went with the table full of stuff there. I mean, you, you'll have seen from the video, not a vast amount, but uh, money enough. The pitch fee was £10. This is at uh, the East Lanks uh, car boot, uh, just off the East Lanks Road. And I had a £10 flow off that. So it's £20 to come off this total. So let's see how we've done. So 125, 130, 135, 137, 40, 137 pound 40, uh, less 20 pound for the float and the pitch fee. So on the whole, not bad for half a day's work. <laughs> it's not really my cup of tea, the selling malarkey at the car boots because it's so boring. I can't really grumble. This, uh, All this will be uh, reinvested in the business to buy more stock to turn over, over more profit. As far as buying at that car boot sale is concerned, it was absolutely the opposite end of the scale from the giant car boot. I managed to get two pickups. The, there were resellers crawling all over the place, which is fair dues. I mean, that's what I do for a living, so there's certainly no criticism there. But uh, as far as uh, being able to get a, a, six, a, a reasonable amount of pickups is concerned, it just wasn't going to happen. Not a wasted trip. This will be going back in the kitty to uh, fund more stock. Now, as well as this being a bit of variation as far as videos are concerned on the channel, the reason, the main reason that I did it is to uh, is to give an example of how you can start off on a, a new reselling journey. The uh, most of the stuff that I sold today was just overspill stock, uh, things that have relatively low value on eBay, so it wasn't really worth um, the time and effort put into uh, selling it uh, online because of fees, because of weight, because of varying reasons. But it could quite easily have been stuff that I just found around the house. Uh, this is the, the, the biggest way that I started in my reselling journey is finding stuff that I no longer needed and selling them online and then reinvesting what I made on those sales to buy more stock and then the snowball effect kicks in if you keep reinvesting. As a very strong recommendation, uh, car boot sell, selling at car boot sales is a great way to kickstart your reselling experience. Have a route around your house. Everybody's got a junk drawer with old, old, old mobile phones in. There's old um, electrical equipment, CD players, Walkmans, old toys and games, old teddies, stuff that uh, your kids no longer use. Everything has a value and there is a customer for every item. So get a, a car full of stuff together that you no longer use yourself from your own house. It's not cost you anything at all, aside from obviously getting from your house to the car boot and your pitch fee. And the money you make at that uh, car boot can be invested to, uh, to start your reselling journey. Like I say, I started out with just £20 and turned it into a full-time business inside of two years. But absolutely, realistically speaking, you, you don't have to have any money at all. You just have to have the motivation to do it. I was out of the house this morning uh, just after half four. And when I got there, people were uh, already setting up. I was one of the first there, but uh, there was already people setting up. So it's having that motivation and ability to kick yourself up the backside so into action. If I could ask you guys a big, big favour and give this video a thumbs up. Like I say, I wanted to provide a bit of variation on the channel and show you the opposite selling from the opposite side of the table, uh, not just about eBay, how you can start yourself on that journey. Uh, so give this video a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider clicking the subscribe button. And if you click the notification bell, uh, you'll get a notification every time I put up a new video. Thanks very much indeed for watching, guys. I really, really appreciate the support for the channel. I've been Dave Keith, and I will see you in the next video. Adios. Got my swag, stay sweet in the street. This is food for thought. Take something to eat. Taking over this world while we crush the speed. TCO, my cuz still, this is something unique. When we hook up, it's the cook up when you look.